afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting and everything amazing propaganda cast from your host and Pearl Dane, the one, the only master of propaganda, your only sanctioned source of comedy to entertainment. Off here to a one, Mrs. One, own Holotni Farama. In the West, it is four us fighting for the America, freedom, democracy, but the Soviet Union. Taking on the role here of the Second Armored Division, most of these, it is somewhat slightly dazed. Fighting for the Wehrmacht, Germany, Deutschland, the 7th and 16th. Bodenständige Infanterie Division, Bodenständige, roughly meaning static in the divisions. They were one of the series of divisions sort of meant to man the uh, Atlantic Wall, and they were sort of uh, slightly different from other infantry divisions, in part because they were most infantry divisions by 1944 basically only had like, you know, smaller regiments due to the whole Stalingrad thing, which again, and the whole Eastern Front Avenger caused most divisions to lose in each of the regiment and battalion, except for the SS, the Bodenständige Infanterie Division, and also retained a battalion extra in the regiment. So they were larger, but then they had much lower quality infantry. In many cases, they were Ostrobben. And on top of that, they also really didn't have any transport. Like, their base print just meant to hold a static position. And it's got Ostrobben here, full somewhat slightly dazed or dazed, with double Ostrobben deck on these. We've got infantry, Panzerfaust, Panzerfaust versus mechanized infantry and heavy cavalry, triple infantry there for Fores. An aggressive build there by Summer Slightly Dazed. Of course, we'll probably want some machine guns down the road to help deal with 4S's infantry. Up north, we got Gunnizer's Reactions there. Shots flying back and forth. Using the southern point. Pioneers there. Grabbing there as well. And of course, as always, please remember to like, subscribe, and share, and press that bell button to support the propaganda cast. And of course, we might have a slightly increased chance of actually you know, seeing the next video. Since, again, I know that's an issue for some people, but that's YouTube for you. Sandbags are being set up here as somewhat slightly dazed. Look Trying to call them days just sort of stick to something shorter, hit southwards. Four us with heavy carry, so we got Ostrom versus heavy carry, certainly some slightly different ends of the spectrum there. Ostrom versus Reichland's going to be swinging in there, probably trying to push up close. More going to there for some uh, dazed. North Rath moving about this, we've got two Rath and one Reichland squad here so far, probably a third one on the way. Oh, he's planning for a uh, fast office and then into something faster after that. Bit uh, bold in some ways, considering what he's up against. Ostrom guarding the munitions and of course a path to the fuel point. Rather than under fire, and we do get taken there for Forest, and it is the platoon command post there. Command post actually, they still haven't fixed that one. We'll have to see what it goes for next, but we got double gun leaders, double Ostrom here for Dazed versus Forest, is double rifle racing for the lieutenant inbound. There we go, take up for Dazed and Deutschland in the south, Ostrom in the Pioneers win as well. Gunnies are going to catch right here by the center port air here as they push for the car point. Gunnies trying to get into car first before trying to shoot the riflemen. Probably to prevent them from just bolting straight at them, but uh, that clearly doesn't happen. This just moves straight for the car point. Finding continues up north here. A riflemen come to these. Oh, Ostrom might be skirmishing out. This gunnies push for the fuel point there. Good disruptive play there by Dazed, which of course is what Ford is trying to return here against a Dazed. Crack the car point. Smoke available. Lieutenant out. For they're still flooding manpower. I wonder what his big plan is. I'm guessing it's 50 caliber, so upgrading his platoon command post. Get the quiddles for something else, Ostrom retreat, but then they're going to use acting in, turn the tables on the right by flanking up behind them, using the house against them. Good play there by Dace, good handling there of terrain and such. Back here, Ostrom there reinforcing. Might be setting up a medic bunker as well. Telemines here, anticipating a fast vehicle rush here from Forest. There we go. Mechanized command post on the way there. Moving about in the south. Aggressive push there, in fact, trying to dig in right outside of Forest. The space of the sandbags and Ostrobben. Days there is definitely just swinging hard hit Forest and the Americans. Fifth car following up after the command post. And obviously, his fuel situation has not begun up to push for light vehicles. We even got a trench! Wow, he's just looking to pin him in there, except he's got no machine guns to really make. There we go, we got more trenches! We got Panzer Grenadiers! I mean, Dace is just going absolutely bananas. Now, perhaps not quite bananas, but you know, raspberries. Or maybe f some other sort of fruit that isn't quite bananas, but you know, it's kind of out there. Maybe melons. Panzer squad, they're almost done here for Dazed. Fuel cut off in the south. Stand up continues here. Ostrom there being attacked by a 50 cover. 
Fip Cup is awesome and heavy. Strange will have to see which one since that end, but guess the Austral win though. Since the Fip Cup has no camera to support that at all. Got a kill there. It's going to be up here. Can this was Raffin fell that pill of 10 versus going to decent side of the house. Raffin got a pommy, got a mine down there. Pioneers can fight against the reasons there. And here the Austral are beating the Fip Cup slowly but surely. I mean, this is really just not the sort of show say opening you see it all day. I mean, trenches right outside your opponent's base within the first six minutes from the damn Wehrmacht. I mean, this is just out there. And there you go. Pencils are about to take the mine. And they get a wipe on the rifle squad. Thanks to the mine. Hoisted by his own petard. Good God. Can they reinforcing? No medic bunker yet. Here, Magnus got to go up soon. There we go. Still nothing further. I'd like to make a nice good fact. It has been built. Austin remain in the trench. They're shooting at the retreating Rifleman. Is there a tiny chance of another white pick against Forest in the early game? We got Rangers up. Forest, desperate, calling in the Rangers to lead the way against the crowds. As the Austin have proven to be more formidable foe than he had ever anticipated. My God, they called in like the super elite. The SS, no, the Austrian. Oh God. Wait, Ostrom? Yeah. Are you dumb? No. Anyways, like to make a nice company up there for Dazed. The center flank out here with the Rangers sank from the other side, catching them a bit of a pincer there. Trench troop there holding out here. We got nine kills on them so far. Half eight of Etsy two. A formidable obstacle here for Fortis and there you go. Finally surrounded, outgunned, outnumbered. They are forced to vacate their positions to fall back to safer ground. Needs to get that fuel point back, but uh, he's still getting more fuel than his opponent. Days to hitting with a 2 2. I mean, considering his aggressive infantry tactics, I feel like a 2 50 and a half deck could also be there, though, of course, the M20 uh, rather puts a bit of a problem to that. So he's going obviously going to need a 2 2 for that, either that or a pack 40. M20 is a guy there pursuing more Germans with fervor and ferocity. Grayson sitting out there, got the point here next to the base secured. Like the Panzer Speedwagon, like normal stun. First element of other elements around to support the 716th Infanterie Division. Most likely the second Panzer Division. Wiring off in the center. Well, that and the Panzer Gunner is obviously. On the center, we got Lieutenant moving in. And he's being slowly shot to bits here. Need to retreat. Oh, that's going to be a wipe there, I think. Got the tutor moving in there. Oh, could turn the tables in for us. Could wipe the lieutenant. That's going to be a nice additional win there. Wouldn't be bad for Forrest, though. I mean, he's already shot an in infantry and losing more at this stage in the fighting, which certainly not do Forrest any favors. Ostrom southward. And it is Ostrom hanging towards the center there. Panzerman's about to get hit by the M20. Rangers probably can now be equipped with Thompson, which would definitely give him some serious punch there versus Dazed Infantry. Make much things much harder for him. No tech up yet. Doesn't have the fuel for that yet. Again, he failed to explore the fuel point of his own fast enough, so he might have been a bit slower there. Gunner is slowly losing out to the Rangers and the Riflemen. Laying down an ungodly amount of firepower there, and it pretty much renders the church uninhabitable for any German speaking peoples. 2 to 2 there, needs uh, well, do something, I guess. Follows here, claiming the center here for the 2nd Armored Division, as Ostrom falling back in the face of the reactions there in the south. And this looking out for a blocking position, light machine guns are requisitioned to the front line. And they got the pioneers moving northwards there, obviously worried about more mines than for Fordes. You could even be laying down anti-tank mines, which is exactly what Forrest does. Thumbs up there. Another 50 cover there, plus days bring up mortars. Lots of action here. We got the Austrian now in the southern trench. We got the Telemann there, but they're still. A rifle grenades going off here against the rifle. Oh! And another wipe. He's got no riflemen left. Good God, Forrest is being pummeled here by days. He's down to just the lieutenant and the rangers now, plus 50 calibers and re echelons. Meanwhile, Dazed has a lot of infantry. We got 500 as a 357. We got rangers there equipping Thompsons. 
the south two to two backing up the Austin here gets the lieutenant by the southern point and is being attacked by the Rangers Canadians moving in as well almost got that well almost is perhaps an exaggeration there's still some time to go for those Thompsons already North got the M20 going for the Pioneers here. Fifth guy rushing south, first two two raiding the base of 4S, showing no mercy. No considerations for niceties. Just utter bloodlust. In fact, taking a victory lap around 4S's base just to show him who's the boss. And it ain't Eisenhower. Down here, Grenadiers vs. Reassurance. Light machine guns there just laying down a dead diffuse late, which Reassurance will not be able to withstand for much longer. Up with the 2 2 joining in to the orchestra of German languages. Mortar there firing away there. Fifth car there holding up the church will not be able to withstand longer. And we got a supply drop inbound there for Staste. Fifth car but pack. Oh, not fifth car but then you've heard four. Pack for the inbound plus, of course, extra munitions and fuel. Trenty racing in again for some retreating Grenadiers. 2 2 moving in and. It's the mine goes up in flames. Roughly against the fifth cover there. Almost got it. Got the M20 charging in there. Only to get Panzer fast, but still does own the gun of these with enough firepower there to cause retreat. Quincy what there go down they go. Heavy casualties on both sides. An absolute slaughter. Good god. No tag up yet there for days. Uh, hopefully should be having something soon there. The Austrian remain in their fort aggressive trench position. A absolute massive thorn in the side of 4S and Echo. Sending in the Rangers and the Lieutenant to get off this. And, oh, <laughs> he caught the M20 with a bun grenade. Killing it and the crew repairing it. <laughs> uh, and clears the 50 caliber. The carnage continues. Good God. If this was a movie, it'd be rated R. R for kicking ass. <laughs> Anyways, Panzer's there being suppressed here by the 50 caliber. <laughs> Very rapidly. More to moving ahead. There we got more Rangers up for 4S. I'm pretty sure that's already there. More Rangers than most American players will ever get in the first place. Good God, that almost feels like just another sign of this match is already going off the rails. Like 4S is under so much pressure. He's just calling in Rangers to push back against Staze, who of course is also under pressure. We got Taker there, that he'll be able to push for armor here, and a fast Ospin could perhaps prove to be devastating and decimating to 4S, who would certainly be not be ready for the fast flak panzer. Rangers first gun is going to got a 50 cup waiting ready to join the Gunnadies and suppress them. Oh, they get away, they get away. Close one there. And the Rangers will have to retreat. In fact, they could go down and retreat now. Oh, Rav grenade off. And the Rangers perish. It's cut down in cold blood. And the fifth goal was too slow there. Oh, this match is just absolutely esoteric madness. It's amazing. Grab the northern point here. He can build the support McCall any time now, and 4S is just barely holding on. His infantry is dying in droves. I mean, I'm sure even at this point, even Patton would be a bit like, slow down, dude. They kind of need to live for a bit longer. <laughs> Back here, troops him in force, and we got take up there for 4S. He's pulling for armor of his own, but he's going to be far behind compared with Days. We'll be able to rush on Austin or Panzer 4 here, though, again. And Austin right now would be absolutely devastating like lighting a match in a house made out of straw doused in gasoline and American flags also somehow involved in it because I make the best metaphors obviously major on the way there for forest almost done we got a mortar on the way there as well Rangers they catching the MD 34 that's gonna treat now he recruit the 50 car but he recruited with Panzer Grenadiers? Wow. Days that clearly just doesn't care. <laughs> got Ostroming in there. That machine gun needs to get out there fast. Rangers, of course, need Thompson soon, but 4S is just terminally short on everything except Germans <laughs> to, like, you know, attack him. <laughs> Mortify ring down there. Almost costing him another Ranger squad. Good God. 
<laughs> One man, a runner. The most running ranger ever to run survives the gauntlet. Flak pants on the way there for dazed. The Ostwind. Ready to deliver voluminous and violent firepower into the gut of every unsuspecting and suspecting American in the vicinity. He's going for weapon racks. For Reznor's. He's going to need bazookas. Otherwise, he's going to quickly have to learn to speak German. Panzer they're holding up by the northern missions point there. Flak Panzer almost down there for dazed. Also reinforcing. Flak Panzer almost done. And there we go. Panzer they're being suppressed here by the 50 caliber. Up north, season the point here with the Pioneers. We got 519 4S8s. Far behind days right now. Far, far behind. Mortar firing down de death there. Got the flag punches sitting out. The Major's about to get a taste of German firepower there. And so the Rangers. There you go. Flak Panzer in hot pursuit. The, he could just try straight into the base there and clear out everything Forrest has got. That was a bit extra. The ambulance has to pack up now. Or, get possibly filled with 13 of the shells and there we go thankfully for Forrest, Days does not go into the base and finish off the job all the good probably done some crippling damage to Forrest and setting himself with the awesome view with the reasons there Rain is king can the make here the bazookas and hitting them up, reasons then being hunted down by the flak panzer I mean he's joining in Sturm shots in the way just in case Forrest does get some armor and here we go, 50 cal with the Martus versus the Flak Panzer. Quick retreat there from Forrest as he realizes he's about to lose his machine gun there to the Flak Panzer up north. Points being cut off, machine gun there, oh, extended. I think Dace is pushing back a bit too far here. Versus Forrest, got Panzer moving from the other side. The Cash and Lieutenant now in a crossfire, they will, may not survive. Mortifier finishes them off. The casualties just keep piling up, they show no sign of stopping. Osman hitting Norfolk. He's only just Rangers now. That's all Fortis has in infantry. Rangers. <laughs> Good God. Flag Panzer there, in fact, might very well finish that one off there. No, nope. gets away. They can these almost taking up a mortifying the Flag Panzer and they shooting the house. Machine and air being rounded by the Flag Panzer. Panzer gonna be charging forwards under cover of the Flag Panzers. Flag Panzering. <sighs> Back here, troops in reinforcing. Another Flak Panzer run, I think, could very well seal the deal here for days and just crash for us like an insect. Major holding up the trench with his bazookas, Rangers healing, reinforcing machine gun as well there. Forres very badly needs more infantry. So badly. Here's something up, 50 cops on the retreat path here. We got 183 versus the 500 of Dazed. Stug opening up there. Black Panzer Norfolk. Nothing further going on in day's base. Mortar found the Ostrovens Trench. Finally forced them out of it. Mortar there gaining vets since you won. Two kills. Fuel point in the North being seized there by Dazed. He's very close to being caught in the Ostrovens. And again, just I think finish off here. Ostrovens is trying to heal up. But see, it's, you know what? They've probably got better things to do. Major versus the Ostrovens. No major upsets there. There we go, major. Loses life and the bazookas are dropped. Rangers versus Panzer, but with the assault rifles, the Rangers don't really have much of a chance. We got the fifth code dealing with other troops, and there you go. Bang grenade off. Rangers in a terrible state there. Panzer gun deer pushed off. Drew Gospin coming up there. He's going for tier 4 right now. Mm, I mean, I guess he could go for it, but honestly, like, just go for another Ospin, and I think he would just crash 4S on the spot. Like, just overwhelm the flak fire. But, like, he wants to go for tier 4, I suppose he could, but I'd not recommend it. I'd just again recommend more Ospins and more Strugs and just finish the job right here and now. Anyway, second ring you scored out there for 4S. 
Pioneers running off with the Bazookas. Sherman on the way there for 4S. I mean, the purging is definitely not going to happen anytime soon if the match lasts that long. I mean, I mean, right now if he doesn't go for Sherman, he's just going to get absolutely crashed beneath Dazed. In particular, if he decides to go for more awesome to do, but so far he is not. And again, that could very well prove to be a small, brief moment of respite there for full rest. Like just a small window where you can sort of slightly breathe and not have to smell the punching air of sauerkraut and jackboot polish. Sherman out there for full rest. Pounce with Ospin and Southworth's going to swing in there. Stu going to sort of support fire there. Ospin need repairs and he's building the heavy panzer core. Well, let's see what he goes for. I'm going to shoot on Panzer right now. Could perhaps do it. I suppose a Panther. Panzer Panther's maybe. But honestly, I just think you should go for another Ospin and then you have some Stu. But anyways, Sherman charging head here. Going straight for the gun of the ears. Backed up a race with the bazookas. Stu could move ahead here. Pack 40 is only moving up. Gun of the ears needs to be suppressed there. Not the best attack there by Dazed. 145 versus 500. Almost got control of all three victory points. Now we got the machine turning up here. Stug uh, probably should build some distance between it and the reactions of the bazookas. Well, it can work versus infantry. You usually do not want it to like take on that attack infantry on its own. That's usually being a bit too optimistic about the anti infantry powers of the Sturmgeschütz 3 as for and there you go, flat comes to the rescue, the reaction is being caught by a whirlwind. A flat fire there that could very well threaten to snuff out their lives. But there you go, Sherman to the rescue. But not quite enough, the reaction still perished and he's down to just ranges, 50 calibers, a mortar and the Sherman on an ambulance. I mean, Forrest is just being savagely pummeled here by Dazed. Could do more punnies to repair stuff. Machine gun routed and white. Dave's actually nice time to run a bit of infantry as well. Need to be careful not to get too overconfident here versus 4S, in particular again when he's pushing for tier 4. Panzer on the way there. Love to see how that pans out. We got Rangers with bazookas. Punch gonna be moving forwards. And the Rangers are dispatched. Pack 40 backing up here, Panzer for halfway done, Panzer was down to heavy fire from the Sherman and Routed on the Egypt, almost got the centre point, got the fifth cover coming up there, five kills of actually two, Panzer for almost there, Stugin dying repairs, and we got an artillery field off tonight here for days, wow, he's not some effort for day, in fact, if he then also uses railway artillery support, days will actually have had the rare honour of being one of the incredibly few people to have ever gotten a full doctrinal bingo with Ostrogan Doctrine, that's like something worth of its own damn metal, oh, Badge most likely since actually they didn't give the Ostrog medals, they gave them badges, sort of. Little fun fact there, like they had the sort of their own separate awards, but they weren't really medals, they just sort of badges they could like get, you know, for you know, doing a good job for the Germans. Little fun fact. Panzer for moving up. Panzer Air Foundation Heli against four letters of support. Uh, positions. They're actually getting some respectable kills in the show. Moving from the north, Austin they caught in a bit of a crossfire. Pack four saying about their shoots, misses. Officer didn't have the advantage of two good populations. Two landing good here. Sherman could go down. Austin's about to go down as well here though. And Sherman down to less than half hill. Flak pan doing some serious damage. Sherman quickly making a shot turn there. Oh, almost down. That has been cleared out as well, so he might be able to escape. They got a shoot then hot pursuit here. Dace is not about to let that one get away. Of course, he's just gone for more strokes and Austrians. He probably could have killed a banana crash for us. Minor detail. Officer being suppressed by the 50 cal and the machine gun there. The MD44. MD44. Under Forrest's control. He's 127 versus the 461. Of days, he's going to find some more pioneers. Pines of their foundation here against the machine guns. Landing inside the base there. And he actually used, the, I believe, the officer's coordinated barrage ability to call that way. Nice work. And calling in smoke as well. Double nice work there. Pioneer squad almost done. They got Rangers sneaking out in the south here. 
And the Rangers now have been equipped fully, I think, with bazookas. Giving them a total of three bazookas, since Rangers, unlike most other infantry, could equipped with three weapons, not two. Austin can only be equipped with one. Also, fun fact. Alright. Obviously, less good as the infantry, but they're going to be an absolute pain to any armor Daze has. Ground the point here. Panzer for shooting again. More rockets being unleashed here. Trusler being slowly murdered. Noteworthy about Panzer for Trusler. Basically, it's the same rockets I was firing as the Nibelwerfer. And more importantly, how they work was actually... Part of the way they killed was not just the direct force of the rocket, but actually those, these shock waves they created, which just, you know, shatter the lungs of people around it. So that was you know, quite a horrible way to go. Anyways, wasn't charged 40. 10 kill plots, very low on health. There you go. The Rangers take it out. A significant blow there to the days. To, this is one of his better anti infantry vehicles here. Trying to charge them with that low health here against the Rangers. That was definitely, I think, a poor call there by Days. Panzer trying to pull it, but they're getting murdered by the fifth card up close. Northern the victory point there, secured and held at least here by Fortis for a bit longer. So what will Days go for now? I mean, Fortis seems to be staying up for the Persian here, interestingly enough. When he's still floating so much manpower, he might just want to call in more infantry. So at least, you know, help by town, maybe a fuel cache or system with more fuel for that Persian. But he's definitely banking a lot on, and I'm guessing Daze is either going to the Storm Panzer for the Panther. Could try and out the fifth cover turn against the uh, Forest there. Off's about to need to retreat. Daze in action seems to be getting slightly frantic. Good mortar hit there, though. And we got another Panther Barrage off. And we got. Oh, there we go. We got Railway Artillery support here from Daze, meaning we got full Joshua Bingo with Ostrom Doctrine. Ladies and gentlemen, you saw it here first. That really looks a little bearish, though Sandy didn't do much, but I mean, he's now actually used everything in the Doctrine. Pound for their fang at the other unit up close. Almost got the machine gun, but they did get away there. We got seven kills for on the Panzer of effort. Range equipped with Thompson. We got one with Thompson. We got one with, well, Bazookas. Season the Southern Victory Point here. We got 18 versus 127. He's close to the Panther, though. Fortis is not far off on the Pershing either. We got more reassurance there for Fortis to repairs, I imagine, since he was going for the Pershing. He will need reassurance to repair it. Like, the Rangers, I mean, they can't do anything about it. They're not trained for repairing. Probably not authorized either. Sherman in north, it's there, adding the fifth couple on top. Close to Betsy 2 on that Sherman tank. In the south, fifth couple going straight for the Pawnees, but the southern victory point. Rangers charging forward in the center. They got a Stug putting up a lone front here against the Rangers. Shoots misses. From north, got the Sherman here going for the Ostrom. Ostrom need to be very careful. They're about to hit the ace level though. 120 points left here for Fortis versus Dazed. 418. Ostrom they're closing wiped out. We got Mortal running off somewhere. I believe that's the officers got heavy mortar fire we heard there. Well, you can go for the Panther now, that what you want. My young man tells you should go for it. You just go for more shoots and ostrichs, but I'll wait. Also close up, but sadly not quite enough to deal with the fifth cover. Fact, need to retreat now. Oh, that's going to be too late. The Rangers, fifth cover, and the mortar there pretty much just catch the officer in a deadly storm of lead and annihilate them. Bit of a cost blow there today, so it's now time to run up infantry. I mean, Forrest is still short on it, but he's got Rangers. Well, he does have the Vetsy 2 Panther, but he's almost ace level. More pounds for the fire here, trying to catch the range in the south and the other stuff. Fifth couple there, caught slightly in it, but the round rush is basically a bit off there. Kind of margin, Pani's about to get murdered as well. The situation is certainly deteriorating here rapidly for days. And there we go, at the 29 minute mark, Forrest is able to call in the Persian here. I certainly can't help but shake the feeling the heavy panzer call was a bit of a mistake in the end for uh, Forrest. And they go charging the shoot, going to be caught here by not just the Sherman, but the Pershing. And that Shug of his not going to make it. He's going to try for a target weak point. He's going to like jam up the turret ring for a bit. Then give the Shug a chance to escape. Does prevent him from shooting. But we got the Rangers there with the bazookas. And they finish off the Stug. So now Daze is down just to the Panther. While his opponent has, you know, the Pershing and the Sherman. 
He's going to need something to put some serious firepower on the ranges for the triple bazookas. Otherwise, he's going to have a hard time doing anything with that panther as well. I mean, more pentagonaries were an option. Ospens could be an option. Ranges in the south of the court here with the panther, of course, could own with the Thompsons. They're going to be a bit more vulnerable to the panther Kampfer and Fünf. Back here, troops are reinforcing. Could try and grab the northern point as well. Day's actions are starting to seem a bit more frantic. A bit less well coordinated and executed. I'm still leaving some serious blows, but uh, Forest is certainly starting to land some more and more impressive blows against Days as well. 388 versus uh, 385 is 120. Days is rapidly bleeding out victory points. Panther almost good to go again. Going the northern point with Ostruppen. Sherman straight to the tail of mine. And the packs finish it off. The nice setup there by Days. That was a great tail of mine there. Those Panthers almost taken out exclusively by the Rangers with their triple bazookas. North machine in there around the Ostrom. Need to fix up that Panther fast, and he really needs some more anti infantry on the field somehow. Three hundred and sixty or hundred and twenty more Panzer gonna do there on the way for Dazed and the 716th Bordenstegen then again for the on increasingly certainly the second Panzer Division that's running the show here as the 716th has been rather fun its main uh, company is being battered silly here by uh, the second armor division though which of course not gone through this unscathed either in the south Pioneers versus the fifth cover there ace level machine gun crew versus the Pioneers with the dull bazookas that's very much win there for that one and there you go Panzer for the trying to turn things in favor here of Germany should have been a bit closer, I think, to a proper sort of damage, but uh, certainly did summon in the end. But not enough. Note fuel catch up the Fortis Brian with more fuel here against Days. Very good. His Panther slowly being fixed up. The Pioneers are pinned down. Panther with his range. There you go. Quick Pan Amber grenade off against the Panther Gunadier. Kills Otto in a rather explosive and squishy manner. 320 versus 120. Only 200 point difference now between the two combatants and its respective armies. Panther almost good to go there for Dazed. Almost, but a bit more to go there. 50 cover holding up there and there. The situation for Dazed is suddenly looking rather reversed from the early game. And honestly, I feel like just going for tier 4 really played a big part in that. Like, it just. For the cost and time required to like invest in it, it just doesn't really, I would say, pack the sufficient like you know firepower to really know, well, earn itself in. That matter do really is it just? I feel like he lost so much there against Forest by trying to go for it. I think and he's just gone for like more Ostrans, more Stubes, and just crashed Forest instead. I mean, as you might have noticed, he just ended up giving Forest so much of a time that you group and record it, and now the Panthers, as you might have noticed, isn't quite making the impact you know you'd figure it would. From north, they got the person versus the Ostrom. Forcing them away with some heavy firepower there. Panther moving up there, catching the ranges he's trying to catch. We've got the Pipka at the cuff point. Panther moving northwards, of course, needs to be very mindful of the ranges, otherwise, all the time it just took to repair it will be wasted. <laughs> A lot. In the south, they're sneaking about to hit the southern victory point, very good there. Need to grab the southern fuel point, and he really needs some anti infantry counters more. Like, more Panzer Grenadiers is good, but like a Sturm Panzer. Or more Ostrans could also be a good pick here versus the Rangers, I think. But oh, it's something that really threatens the uh, Rangers is very, very quick here for Thoris. Bound grenade against Rangers. Not enough, though. He needs to dodge to Thoris. Very good work by him, of course. Panther good. Or oh, just waiting for something, I guess. Can't grab the car point back. We got the Panther over half eight to 15 2. We have to come into the waiting graph there. Ace Panzer gonna do you here. I don't think that Fifth Cub's gonna have a chance of winning that one. Heavy versus Heavy Cub versus No Color, and both Ace level the Panzer level should win that one. Unless something goes spectacularly wrong. Got the Panther firing off, and there you go. Aggressive push here with the Rangers. Panther for misses. <laughs> Not looking good there for uh, Days there again. Pershing will head into the Panther. We got more Panzer gonna do for Days. Very nice to see there, and the Panthers in the south pretty much pushed away that fifth cover, almost wiping it out, and in fact, without suffering a single casualty. Very good. Bazooka Rangers moving in. 
directed here by the Pershing on the Panther. Pioneers, more Panzer moving in there. Panzer, they're almost taken out by the Bazooka Rangers that have been bad news there for days. That have been very bad news. But yeah, the absolute insane fighting continues about the Pershing South. Let's Panzer, they caught need to retreat them. Pack foot is nearby, but the train is making it hard for them to sort of catch the Persian properly there. So that's very much in the favor of their Fortis. Panther could, of course, try and move in, but needs to be careful with that due to his lower health. Up north, awesome pushing away the Riesons. We've got two fuel catches up there for Fortis, planning with a lot of fuel now compared with Dazed. And he's trying to turn into an advantage for the Persian. Very good move there. Not Persian, but Jackson. So he got the Persian. That was good work there. Good work there. Fellow would say punishing days there for his tier four play. Puzzling Norfolk's ground sandbags up there. Pershing shoots and spectacularly misses the Ganoose. Panther shoots misses as well. Pack 40 shoots bounces. Quite a lucky Pershing there. And now we got the Jackson out there. Gunners are being charged with the Rangers. Got Panzer's nearby support. Got the Panther Horse unleashing hell here. Nine kills plus one hit two. Uh, mostly hitting trees and squirrels. Panzer, they need to retreat. And there you go. Armored Colonel advancing through the south road here from Forest against Ace. He's pursuing the south. A collapsing meanwhile. Pershing takes it from the Panther. Pack body's well there. Close to getting the Pershing. We could take it out. That was going to be great there for him. But he's come up to lose the Panther. And there you go, got the super range up the flank, no Panther support, there you go. Lots of shots going through there, but not enough. Quick grenade on the pack 40. Got triple Panzer grenades, but uh, most of them are now back in the base, being healed and reinforced. Or when he's getting orders to move out. It's only highlighting the abject madness of this fight so far. More mortified, we got Ace Fifth Cover Crew moving ahead. The northern side being guarded by a single machine gun. Looks like he's lining up for some big push here. Panther being repaired. Kennedy's moving in. Panther Kennedy's on the move as well. Panther in dynamic repairs. And the southern point now utterly undefended. It's being seized there by Forest with ease. We got 224 for Zion 2. Kennedy's was the fifth cover there. By the MD 34, actually. The machine gun he lost to his opponent is proving to be quite fruitful there for Fortis. And quite a problem now for uh, Dazed. Push here with the big panther to push there. Large swarm of assault rifles there, overwhelming some of the support weapons in the centre. And now he's heading northwards. He could, of course, try and flank the fifth machine gun and then clear it out. So I want to kill that. We got 217, there's 102. Panther good to go there. Heading Norfolk, yeah, that machine's going to reposition fast and just looks like Forrest senses the danger and begins repositioning the machine gun to avoid exactly that. Good move there. Good move. Got the Ace Rangers with the Bazookas pursuing the Panthers. Shots bouncing off the front on the Ego. One goes through Gunners in the center of the Pershing, taking heavy hits. Panthers, I think, spinning out a bit too thin in there. Go machine gun. Oh, could get a flank. No, he backs off. He does not go for it. Perhaps he's worried about where it is. The close option that missed, I think, to clear out the machine gun instead of back. Pershing moving heady back up a range, got the Panther moving up. Austin nearby as well, but uh, not a good situation there. And he hits a mine, slowly damaging the Panther there and also slowing it down for a bit. In the center, a, a ranger squad there. That was the Bazooka team. He caught it with a Panther for but using his pioneers as bait? For what? Either way, though, it worked. The rangers are dead. And the pioneers somehow survived it. Got Rangers versus the Panthers was out. Panther moving in. They need to cover not to expose the Reneeds and more into tank support up. Here we've got the Jackson also moving in. Grenades over the Panthers on the Deers. Absolute chaos and shoes here. Oh my goodness. In the south here, Pioneers for pressed and pinned down in the center. Infantry moving through there as well. Panther extended here for days. We've got artillery called in somewhere. They're not entirely sure where. Panther takes hit from the Pershing on the on the Jackson in the rear. He hasn't killed the machine gun either. Panther was on retreat. In fact, he's lost the eighth squad. And he's about to lose his Panther as well there. Dace is taking some absolutely vicious beatings here from Forrest now. More casualties being piled up on both sides. Panther's about to get wiped out. But they're also getting some kills in return here. 
Down to just one man. Need to check one of these moving in. Almost got the rifle score there. Another Panther for Dazed. Absolute madness. More Shermans on the way there for Forest and the 2nd Armored Division troops in reinforcing. Panther halfway down there for Dazed and Deutschland. Pershing there close to 22. Seven kills in the name of democracy in America. Gunnit is setting out there. Pack 40 is moving out. Pack 40 is landing great hits there on the Pershing, but not enough. Not enough to finish it off at all. And is it dodging hits? Got on the way there for Fortis instead of the Sherm, wanting to bring in some artillery to help deal with some of the packs, I imagine. Not a bad move. Not a bad move. Round is going to be his here. Round grenade off. Rifle moving in. Got the Panther opening up. Bit of shooting here and there. Rifleman charging ahead. And a panzer with a barrage here, close to 52. Possibly in the fifth cover there. Or the Rangers are violently pummeled. Four reds not bring up a lot more infantry. He has plenty of manpower for it. Probably should consider some replacements there. We got 161 versus 102. Panther moving in there, no pin up machine gun due to no munitions for it, I imagine. At least not when he had it there. Troops being slaughtered. Pershing going for oh Jackson going for the Panther. There he goes straight into the pack 40s. Almost got the Jackson, he's also got the Pershing nearby. Panther needs to be careful. Betsy to gain there, and he could get the Jackson though, but it might come in the cost of the Panther, which I'm not entirely sure worth it for. Days, but there you go. Jackson down. Reason we got the bazookas. Pack four landing hits here. Pa target weak points. They've been utilized against the Pershing. Very good there, but smoke called in there. Oh, he will not be able to finish it off, perhaps, unless he oh, shoots enough. Almost got the Pershing there. Panzer's moving forward. Top spot for the Panzer Grenadiers. On the Pack 40s. Almost got No, it gets away. It gets away. Damn, that was close. Utter chaos and madness continues to reign. So many close calls. Got a few lonely rangers charging ahead. They're shoving away again for four days. Punzgundi is leading a counterattack. We got 138 versus 102. Forest has managed to bring down Days Lee quite actively. Absolutely crazy fight so far. Panzer from the Mission Close Quarters Badge on the Rifleman. Oh! And they get wiped out! I have to say, uh, four is a so ability was rifleman has been so far quite abysmal. I mean, the Ostrovan done a better job surviving than the rifleman. The Ostrovan machine remains in the north here. More pioneers for dazed. Season so the center victory point. We got 125 as 102. Another Jackson here for 4S. Another tank destroyer. Tank destroyer is ready for action. There you go. Plus a Scott again. He could do with more infantry though. He could do with more infantry. He's got these are the manpower to call him a range equipped the Thompsons. All the swoops he wants to. 100 points left now for 4S versus Dazed. 125. 
Panzer vs Rangers here, Aces versus less than Ace troops. Of course, got the Panzer with a quick response here. Pershing shoots, Panzer need to retreat in the Ostrom as well. There, mortars, rifle grenades all going off here. Packs moving about. Rangers charging ahead, got the Panther moving in. Great to in the Pershing, but it bounces, it bounces, and the Pershing then does not bounce off the Panther's armor. Yep, the Pershing is halfway to the ace level. Another hit then the Panther, something to Jackson. Panther there down to less than half health, not looking good there for Dazed. Oh dear, it's about to go down, it's about to go down, and it goes down. In a thunderous series of explosions there, the Pershing takes it out. Hogs out the Jackson. Rangers moving ahead here, 21 kills back here, troops in reinforcing. Hands back for unleashing help, 18 kills. But the barrage goes off, the Rangers veers off to deal with the mortar instead. And I don't know what's doing the Panther over there, but that's about to get knocked out. And yup, just for away the Panther over there, probably a misclick, I think. He's down just two packs and some Panthers and whatnot. Pine's about to get murdered as well with the Rangers. Carnage just continues to flow like wine at a French school party. Anyways, almost got the person. There you go, caught it with target weak point. Smoke is too late and the person finally goes down Panzer 4 now on the way there 4 dazed 103 versus 97 what an absolutely crazy fight this has been so far so much infantry so many tanks just destroyed shattered annihilated Panzer's moving ahead. Panzer 4 halfway done. He needs to rush the northern victory point as well. I mean, at this point, I'm an almost suggestion just getting a half track, filling it with Panzer grenades, then rushing the northern victory point. That might just sort of do the trick. Seventy-five points left. The day's got the Panther Four out. Lot of repairs, and we got more Rangers out here now for Forest. More Thompsons on the way. Panther setting up for flank with the machine gun and the victory point. Was leading with the Panther Four as well. There we go, almost got it. In the center of the Americans are charging forwards here. We got 28 kills in the Rangers. More to push away with ease. Got the MG-34 down, finally. We got 59 versus 97, rushing for the south one. But there you go, we got Rear Stone setting up for a fighting position. They've defended. Gun leaves there with rifle grenades and a light machine gun. Rear Stone taking staggering casualties. And there you go, Bazooka drop. Meaning forest down to just rangers again, a fifth car and a mortar. Plus a mix of armor. Another Panther 4 here for Dazed. Bazooka secured as he grabbed the southern victory bomb. We got 44 versus 97. North side assault there did not work out for Dazed in the end. Routed. Almost got the southern victory points, almost got the fighting position cleared out as well. Thirty-three versus ninety-seven. Rangers versus the Panzer Four. Trying to crush them here. Trying to grind them into a fine paste. 
And there you go, another person ready here for Ford S. He's got two pounds of force, but will it be enough? He's got 25 versus 97, pack 40. He's caught in a bad spot as well there. Has been caught by a lot of artillery. One hit, then the Jackson Punch moving Fort Scott, so they're just shattering the pack crews. Other Panzer Force nobody to be seen. Charging ahead here, Panzer Force now boosted by the Panzer Force, can move fast and clear out support weapons. More with these, but they aren't. Panzer Force going for the Jackson, almost got it. Needs to grab the center victory point, we've got 19 points left. 19! The other Panzer Force not there, the Pack 40 is not keeping up pace either. I think Daisy is slightly frantically trying to sort of salvage the situation. Causing him to lose some things, and there you go, the Panzer Four's down, the pack's not at the front line, it's the Panzer Four. It's almost got the centre victory point. Jackson charges ahead there with eight trap rounds. Panzer has scored almost well down, retreats, Panzer Four fine arriving. Pack 40 is crew, hold forwards, Panzer was there, suffering a shattering hit, almost taking out the entire unit. And leaving poor Jürgen dead in the dirt. Panzer has scored, wiped out with the rain, is caught going for deep flank nicely down there for us leaving more and more day center exposed badly come this something up in the south here with the black machine and a bazooka across the trench nice work there Panzer going to deal with the range of the pack 40 aces are gone perhaps they're wiped out as well and now I would say it is GG here dazed has been destroyed by Forrest Good God, this has been an absolutely crazy fight there, with heavy casualties on both sides, totaling an almost total loss there, 400. Dees has pretty much nothing left now, I think, when he's down to just 15 points. Thirteen versus ninety-seven. And Paul trying to go for the Pershing. I would say it's just very much a symbolic gesture of raising his middle digit there. Four S perhaps. Got the Rangers, I guess, but not very much as much or a support weapon or whatever it was. Pentacle down. Three points left, and yeah, that's obviously GG. One point left. He keeps fighting to the bitter end. And there you go, GG, game over, a loss for the German army, victory of America, an absolutely brutal fight here on Holotny Fan, which is really good to see some absolutely amazing tactics and strategy there, and I feel like, well, again, things went wrong for Dace, was just going for T40, just stuck to Stukes and Ostmans, boom, GG, no more, but instead, T4 was just such a massive loss in tempo and momentum, and the thing is, like, just, it doesn't make up for itself. Like, he doesn't gain any new upgrades or, you know, things like, you know, the service to, or the units aren't, for example, that really that much better comparatively, to be honest, either. So, like, he just fell up as he just got crushed by Forrest's counterattack, and he just couldn't muster the resource because, again, the resource had gone to tier 4. So, you know, absolutely brutal fight there, but then Forrest pulled through there, and Dace, though, I would say, was really close to time to just winning that one. An absolutely amazing one was one there. So, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. Did subscribe, like, share, comment, online, tell your friends, tell your family, but not your enemies. If you like what I do, you can donate or pledge on Patreon. This is Imperial Links, and cheers. Thank you for watching. You all live one floor. Just hope to see you all tomorrow again for a nice episode. Bye.